Good morning. Wanna see my background, right? So I don't know what's about to go down. Uh, this is easily my life. Let's go. that so beautiful guys look at god's handy work well you all know i'm here for a baptism as you can tell waiting on the candidate to arrive but until then look at that beauty 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 beauty, beauty. the man them putting a little boat out there so we'll get a close-up oh row row your boat gently down the street Merely, 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 merely. And I'm working. Okay, so I'm not here alone. There goes Minjis. Say me. Hi, Minjis. Hi, sir. All right, there goes Mindan. Hi, Mindan. There goes Mindita. Hi, Mindij. There goes Minjis. Hi, Minjis. All right, and then over here. Say hi, Minna. Minna, say hi. All yeah. right. <laughs> I wait for breakfast. I wait for what? Breakfast. breakfast. Hey, this man loving belly. You know? <laughs> All right, guys. So out. You have never seen it like this before, because we are chilling this weekend. Yeah, the ministers of pure and heart. We can't, we can't afford a retreat, right now. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, we can't afford a retreat. You understand? Because a lot is going on right now. So we we'll enjoy ourselves. Same way. Okay, so the candidate is almost here. As you can see, the ministers are here with me this morning. We're just chilling for this weekend. It's the end of the year. We normally have our little retreat. You know, it goes sometime in the morning after I want it to flow. I'm not ashamed to say that. But to just decide, so we're going to just chill for the weekend. Come baptism, go market, eat some food, and just chill. You understand? So we just watch the ride. Father, we bless you. We just acknowledge you for who you are. God, you're good and you're great and you're not like you. Lord, this is the day that you have made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it, mighty God. Father, we take nothing for granted. You have given unto us life and life more abundantly. And Father, we bask. We bask in your presence. We bask in this moment knowing that you are with us, God. And Father, we thank you for your child who's making this conscious decision to allow you to be the Lord and Savior of her life. Father, we do not take it for granted. We rejoice this morning. We are happy, mighty God. This is why we do what we do, Father God, so that your name can be exalted on high, Lord God, so that you can get the glory and the honor, mighty God. So Father, as your daughter is saying yes to you, we just ask you for your blood coverage over her, mighty God. We declare that no weapon formed against her shall prosper, Jesus Christ. Father, I declare, Lord God, that you will just surround her with the right people. Father God, with the right wisdom, spirit-filled people, Lord God, to encourage her along the way, my God. Father, it's not easy, but you declare that you will never leave us nor forsake us. So, Father, we just take refuge in that. We take comfort in that, my God. So, Lord God, I declare, Lord God, that it is well with her mind, body, soul, and spirit. And that she pass over to the next side, Father. We say thank you, Lord God, for this soul. We say thank you for this life. And we declare it done. We declare it well in Jesus' holy and precious name we pray. Amen and amen.
the most full fish you can. Shipping up, they are very beautiful. We can, this is why we do all the glory and all that. It's a good feeling. Baptism done, mark time. I'm going to come like the cup beer right now, I'm going to taste everything you know? Hold on, hold on I'm going to taste everything I'm going to taste everything So we're done with the market and we're rolling out. See the troops, eh? Rolling right out. All right, so we're in off the ground and breakfast are going now. <laughs> That's Minji's. We had to chop up the seasoning. Yes, sir. Chop up the seasoning. Guys, for snacks, man. My God. Wow. I see the fat bubble. Salt fish over there, son. Aki, so like the dumpling, I'm going here, so you understand? Yeah, man, I don't think I see that. So I need okay. There, as we proceed to give you what you need, it's called playing word. Yeah. All right, a good look. Phone, phone, me never as usual, finding work to do. <laughs> you know, them crack it a long time ago. You it crack them, not true? It is a whole bit of my back. Guys, all is vanity. This house is not even one year was good, good yet. You understand? And there are cracks. Them said the land has settled. So, them say. So, of course, anyone has our chill time, but Minnev can't help himself. Alright, with a shear. It's a good look. It's only make so much noise. How for you? Look at that dumpling, pumpkin. What's the name? Pa? Yam. Like that? Dumpling, pumpkin, yam? Are you ready? I'm for answer. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we're fried planting. We're fried planting. And this is the ackee and saltfish, right? Look at that. Look at that. And look at the faces. Can't wait. That's a can't wait face. This? Is the weight hunger that kills me face? <laughs> <laughs> this? No, I'm going to steam my ears, sir. I'm not hungry. Ear steam. Is the ear steam my face? <laughs> this? Hungry long time. I'm going to go to the Hungry long time. This is a fire up Look at that. Wow. Wow. Let me tell you about planting. 
Planted, 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 planted. <laughs> Come in there, pray again. Cause I pray they too fast for the food. Come again. Oh Lord, we thank you for the food. We pray, for, we thank you for the provision, Lord. That's we are going to eat, Lord. Bless the food in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mighty God, quickest thing. Yeah. Good and God is great. May I tell you, eat the food them in there. God understand the prayer. Dive in there. God understand the prayer, sir. I'm understanding. Now look at this. You don't have to go to a hotel or a resort or a retreat, you know. You understand? This is beautiful. We thank God for making the provision. You understand? You want to go like tonight? Because you could prepare food like baby. Okay. Sir, so, what would you do? <laughs> what is it? Please. Can I find you one thing? Didn't you say when I go to buy the dumpling, sir? I saw mama begging to deal with it for me, you know? Right. Didn't you say you're supposed to eat it? Yeah, but you don't. So, sorry, so you're going to suck up the dumpling and bite it? You're not going to take it up, but you just go so. Yeah. And pinch it up a piece. And you go so. Right, so you're going to suck up the dumpling. Right, so you're going to suck up the dumpling. Right, so you're going to suck up the dumpling. Maybe. Alright, so you're going to suck up the dumpling. Take a look at my plate. Come and show yourself empty by now. Yes. Maybe I'm going to play it, yeah. Eh? Yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Here's a mix of this mm -hmm. song. My God is so big, so strong, so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. So that's see. Does that's why you write the, the yeah, G O D so big? Yeah, so big. Cause he's so big. <laughs> he's bigger than everybody. Yes, but he's you have to put the, the world. He's bigger than he's bigger than the earth. And he built that big thing. Okay. What is? There's mighty hands. Okay, okay, Pastor. But yes, but I was still saying that you spell G, not all uppercase, because you, start, you have it in a sentence. You just put capital G, uppercase G, and lowercase O D. I know, and 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 um, and this is great. If I put if I put all like this, G, capital G, capital A M. O capital D, then put it and put this, then put this. <laughs> oh, 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 exclamation. Yes. Oh, because God. Yes. Okay, son. I get you. Flesh and blood didn't, didn't make it act like this. It's the spirit of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Little prophet. <laughs> You're something else. All right. And I went to sleep. Is some look refresh? <laughs> Minji's just says she not, up, she just says she not get no sleep because we not stop banging. I don't know who's banging on doors because I was surely sleeping. I am fresh. You're fresh. Yes. You understand? Like a I get a puss nap. Minnox, yeah. you get a nap. Rest, man. You rest. Oh, me me never get you get a nap. Who's now? May I tell you? I wake up and say me never, me never work the same way. Or me never style that. Anyway, we're about to eat dinner. I'm looking forward to it. What kind of life is this do? Eat, sleep and get up and eat again? You see what I'm not worried about? Father, we give you thanks. Amen. Alright, the food has arrived. You know? Look at that. Lasagna. Wolf and jerk. Curry shrimp, veg, rye plantain, what the rice name? Basmati rice or something like that. I see the Minister of Food, yeah? We <laughs> never go change anything from Minister of Service to Minister of Food. <laughs> Anything, sir? I'm not sure, mate. Ah! All right, food roll out, guys. All right, food eating are going well. We never take him time, pro that. Yeah, right. man. On my plate, almost there. 
we just just get our food. You want to lead the pack? <laughs> yeah. You want to be very dainty with our food? Food really tastes good, mm -hmm. Food nice, bad. Food nice, not true? Yeah. Everybody big up Lady Tishan. Go on, Mindy, go on. Big up. <laughs> Lady Tishan, man. Lady Tish. Up like, no. Blessings upon you, sister. Your hand good. See there, your hand good, <laughs> mighty God. And her hand alone, her heart good. Her heart good, see there? Right. Sometimes you can't tell people about the food, they're loving it. Loving other food, yeah. Wow, is that message that means that you're a preacher, man? Yeah. Day done, you know. Everybody eat and merry. Get some rest. Church in the morning. We're going to finish this series, Vision 14. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good morning, my email family. Wanna know the drill, right? Pray, then church. <laughs> Wanna watch your right now? Father, we bless you. We thank you for this brand new day, Lord. Lord, as I'm about to head out to church, I just ask for your journey in mercies, Father. Just cover me. Go before me, make every crooked path straight, Lord God. And Father, for everyone watching this vlog, just bless them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, whatever they have coming up this week, next week, for the rest of the year, that is so concerning to them, Lord. Father, we just cast these cares on you, Father, because you told us not to worry about anything. You said that which one of us by worrying can add a single hour to, to our lives. So Father, we thank you that we are guided, we are protected by you, mighty God. And we thank you, God, that it is well with us. So Father, we choose to trust you this day, Lord God. This is the day that you have made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Church time! Time to preach this word. Let's go. Promise keeper, light in the darkness. So then, faith cometh by? And hearing what? Faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. Listen to me. There's nothing that you will go through in this lifetime that there's not a word in the Bible for it. Because when God gives you a vision, there are some usual suspects that normally push up them head. Let me tell you something. If your vision don't scare you, you have no vision. A vision is supposed to feel too easy in your reach. That means say this are the something where everybody else are the easy. But when God gives you something, it's supposed to somewhat intimidate you a little bit. It's not for you to live there, you know, but it's supposed to feel a little bit like, okay, this I definitely can't do on my own. So, so some of us, God has given us the vision, you know. But we don't move it because when him say, this is the vision, the first thing step in is a little word called doubt. We start to ask God, me? Look, look how we start to downsize ourselves. Little me? You know the physical, you know so little, you know? But you start to say, little me? No, sir. I can't me. Tell somebody, are you see one? Mm -hmm. Are you see one? So doubt creeps in. And when doubt creeps in, the only way you can increase your faith is to get into the word. So when certain things are spoken over your life by a man of God, by a prophet, and when you see doubt comes in, the first place I forgot back to is the Bible. Now somebody give me a scripture that I could use for doubt. Somebody give me one scripture. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of what? Power, love. So see there, you have something for counteract the thoughts immediately. If you're thinking more on a, on, a, on a comfort level, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to do what prosper you and not to do what harm you plans to do what give you what hope and the future so when doubt steps in you have 
a word immediately from the word of God to counteract those thoughts. And this is why you can't just wait on Sunday morning alone. Because I might be preaching this morning, and yes, some people might be identifying with it, but probably it's just not where you're at. Probably it's somewhere else. But you have to dig the word for your situation. So if you know, say you're struggling with fear, dig the word for scriptures that kicks against fear. It is your responsibility. Right? So when God says, this is the vision, doubt creeps up. The next thing that creeps up is discouragement. Especially when you have knocked on a few doors and them don't open. Well, God, you must know what I'm going to do. Can everybody tell me now? Look here. You can get a million no, you know. But you say the one yes. And sometimes you will get the ten no before the one yes. Because in it, God is saying, let me see what I'm up to. You think a little time ago places and then tell me, say, them closed now? And you just say, could you call your manager? Some of us, God has given us the vision and we are dealing with fifth tier people. Then quick for tell you no. Then quick for tell you, say, it can't work. It's a whole different message that feeds itself, but you have some people, them name blessing blockers. First service done, one more to go. Hooray. <laughs> Let's do this. The next one that will come. Worry. People love to worry. Worry and curry rhyme, you know. But if you love curry, you understand, but you know, for love worry. What do you mean that not rhyme? I mean, the artist. Worry, curry, sorry, hurry. <laughs> Worry about everything. Today's what did? At the tent. Some people are say, 15 days to Christmas, you know? I'll know, I can't see a backlash, sorry. <laughs> Christmas will come. Wama lama. <laughs> And, and, and it, it, <laughs> there are things in life that will happen that causes us to worry. But these things are what we are taking to ourselves. If Christmas comes in and eat pizza, I'm like, all right, you know. As a matter of fact, God just said, I'm going to save it from putting on two extra pounds where ball ball come January morning. Worry. We know that we live in a very tropical island, sun out, place hot. Turn on the AC. I will tell myself, say, you are going. Me not going to lie down now, this I eat here, you know. So I'm going to run my AC, I'm just going to live life comfortable. But the fact of the matter is, you still are thinking about mountain when the bill come. There's a little worry there. If it's going to really be out of your reach. The prophet, Bob Marley, because I believe Bob Marley was a prophet. I honestly believe Bob was a prophet. Him say, don't worry about a thing. Because every what? Tell somebody every little thing is going to be all right. It's like all right, man. It's like all right. The year is coming to an end. Some of us hope so place give a bonus. Somebody said, man, I look feet, sir, but if I get it, I get it. Look, man. Have your hopes up. <laughs> if it's not up there, you're not going to die, you're going to all right. But you should still be optimistic of saying a bonus for come this year. You know? But if it not come, I just saw it go. But worry has become a thing. But guess what? There's a scripture for that. Therefore I tell you, 
Do not worry about. Wouldn't you know the Bible nice? Every situation, there's a scripture for. Right? So when you're not got you worrying, nobody spend one and a half to cheer up on yourself. Right? Just go to the scripture. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your what you will. Oh, slow down a little bit. Kind of forever eat and God knows that someone I think about the Sunday dinner now. Right? Yesterday, the minister and I, ministers and I, we were on the road and we were just thinking, I was say, if you're not careful, you know, you spend more money for food than where you used to pay a mortgage. We're not see that way, you know, but if you add it up, you realize, say, better to live in your belly than in your house. Because where you spend pound food surpass what you're paying for mortgage and even what you're earning. It's a weird thing, you know. Back in the days, I couldn't get a loan from banks. Why? Because when I look for me, I spend more than what I earn. I mean, I know all I do, but I live good. Come and live by faith. Everything just can't go up on paper. You have to set up things, you know. According to paper, for access where you want, for access in this life. But really and truly, just like the Bible tells us that the just shall live by faith. My life on paper don't make sense. But may I live? I may not want nobody nothing. But love. I may not thief. No scam. What a God good you, man. <laughs> So, therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life. what you will eat or about your God knows that some of our rooks up for finding something for where come church this morning. Some people, it's a mental thing. That's why we dress down here, saying I put it on under pressure. It, for a church that wears t-shirt and jeans and a whole lot of people will help, you know? I'm going to give God thanks for the church. Huh? It's true. Because God knows that some of the things that we take button in can't button. <laughs> so I make a way for you. About your body, what you will wear for life is more than food. We talk about food more than we talk about scriptures. Every day I work, what I can eat today? Sunday day time, I want me to go eat today. You get up in the morning, I want me to eat for breakfast. I wonder what for lunch. I eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and by the time it touch about 8 30, I say, but feel for something nice. <laughs> hey, in a true Jamaican language, I feel peckish. I feel for something sweet. <laughs> for life is more than food. <laughs> And the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They do not sow or reap. They have no storeroom or barn. Yet God feeds them. And how much more valuable you are than birds. Who of you by worrying can add a single hour? Worrying will more take an hour from you than to add an hour. It's fine to say that you're that you're right. All right. All right. So this is Ori. Ori is getting baptized. So after the first service at church today, she says she wants to be baptized. Yeah. Yes. Are you ready for this, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way. Jesus says, "Suffer the little children to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of heaven." So when the little ones them say they want to, we should not stop them. You're another little one around the legs. You ready to? <laughs> All right, so we're going to do this, okay? Mm -hmm. You got this. Such a bruiser. All right, so it has been a great weekend. Me and the ministers, we chill, we go market, church, Sunday morning, preach, the series done. 
baptism and this this was an impromptu baptism you understand but i enjoyed it to the maximum number the back home so minutes and everything in the background where they are record some acoustic music so you're all gone only just like share comment and subscribe but go on, boy, my business this has been easily